I think, you know, I kind of treat the internet as though people's attention and their memories are incredibly short. It's almost like longer than a week in internet time, in my opinion, is like, I, I have no, when I say I have no idea what I browsed or saw last Thursday, I'm not kidding. I don't know what I was looking at. <laughs> you know, like I get it gun to my head in, in I'm 42, 43. Maybe I'm losing some, some short and medium term memory or whatever it's called. But like, I have no idea what I was doing last Friday on my computer or Thursday. So I think you can start you know, warming them up a little bit a week in advance or whatever. But in my opinion, if you're talking about Black Friday, two weeks before Black Friday, that's an eternity. That's like a, that's light years from Black Friday. I think you probably even get away with a few days, you know, telling Mm -hmm. them something's coming up a few days in advance. Okay. (laughs) That's one man's opinion, right? And by the way, I'll qualify by saying I'm not actually in the game. I'm like a guy who's a vendor to these people so exactly yeah cool now with a fast list grow um there might be some risks also involved means like list cleaning making sure that everything uh yeah. gets delivered how do you deal with that so generally speaking we, we we usually only sell that product to somebody who's got over three million of uh sales per per year going through their store the bigger you are the better the Dr. Squatch example is like a great one. There is usually a magic balance between the amount of traffic they have that we can turn into emails, the amount of emails they've collected over the years that can sort of take this amount of traffic we're giving them. And we also never want to give somebody more than like 2% per day on average of what's going mm-hmm. out. So we have a throttle that we can... There's several different ways to throttle what's coming in. You could, for instance, only send emails to the brand after they've seen two different pages, which cuts the volume by three quarters, right? Or you could say, I'm only going to give this brand 500 per day, for instance. So um, long story short, we make sure that it's not going to, to that, that they're so far below what would overwhelm their delivery reputation that it doesn't even become part of the discussion ever. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you're in, in my position, it pays to be as conservative as possible. (laughs) You know, like the last thing I need is like a bunch of brands out there talking about how I blew up their deliverability. Right. It's, it's, it would literally destroy everything I'm doing right now. So we're unbelievably conservative in that department. 